Hello people, it's Motosim back in our M07 production, and today I'm here with you, well, with a little video showing you a little product I've gotten. I have recently bought this right here, the Logitech Gaming Mouse G600 series. It's, well, it's the G series, but it's the number 600. You know, as you can see, looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Hmm, yeah, I really like that. Now, I've um, used this for about, like, a week now. Um, well, I've had it for over a week. I, went on, I just went on vacation, so... Didn't really get to do this, and we're now. I was trying to do this before vacation. Didn't really work. So, go ahead and show it to you. Kind of bulky. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, as you could see, like, watch these numbers. They change colors. They glow. They're really pretty. Kinda. That's so pretty. It's went from green to blue. Now the purple. And I could lock them into. That's magenta, and that's blue. Okay, that, that's just my point of view. I'm like, don't tell me that that light's about to go out. I have these two buttons up here as well. This one right here is what's changing the colors. Um, I'll show you something else about that. And then this one right here, which has absolutely no use for me. And then I have this third button right over here. So, let's go ahead and get looking into the software. Now, whenever you go to download the software, thank you, whoever is interrupting me. That's Noah. You, uh... Type in correct language, uh... To do on the laptop. What? Hmm. Surprise it wasn't Sam. Sam's been bugging me about making this video. So, before you go and install the software and all that, you need to actually. I recommend using this site from this link right here. I will try and remember to put it up in the. Um, in the description, if I don't, please someone tell me. Sam, please tell me. Someone. Um, yeah. Um, this is the best way to do it because if you if you have Windows 8, you have to do it this way because otherwise you default to Windows 7. I don't know what version of Windows 7 it gives you or what. Probably like um, Windows 7 Home, not even Home Premium. Probably just straight up Home, which might not even work for Home Premium if you have that. First thing you need to do is choose your OS. I have Windows 8. Obviously, it doesn't say 8.1. Windows 8 works. That's fine. Then you choose your bit rate. I have run 64 bit. I downloaded both of these because this is the framework and this is the software. I'm not sure what this right here is actually for. It's for update, but I installed all software, then ran that. I don't think you actually have to do this, though. But I did it anyway. Mainly because it says it updates and improves the functionality of your G600. That's what I need. Thank you. Minimize that. Who is interrupting me? Darn you! Ah! Jasmine. Great. So, here's the software. Get, I grabbed my software. Thank you. Here's the software. It doesn't really fit on my screen very well. Um, like, at all. I don't know what that's about. Probably because these are, this is probably made for, like, a, um, uh, 1080p screen. I run 720. 728 Sheen said. So as you can see, it's got two modes. It's got automatic game detection, and then it's got onboard memory. Onboard memory, it's pretty much so what you set for the mouse is set for the whole computer and everything. Like all the number pads, all the number buttons on the side will just be numbers unless you reset them. I use the game auto game detection because you know I play lots of games sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Here's a good thing about it. You may notice, okay, I have all these right here bind it. Um, right now I have Space Engineers selected up here. So this is my binding for Space Engineers. Notice these right here, it's period, that, and L. Don't know why I have that to be L. And then I have, this button's not even bound for me. So, like I completely unbound it. You may notice this right here. Watch this. Change the color mode, change the whole entire button layout. So I can have some pretty diverse button layouts. I have yet to really go through all that and change it. Um, you have this right here. If you want to, say, make a new binding, you just go to sign new command. You have this. You can either hit the key you want to bind it to. You can also choose between all this. I don't know exactly how that actually works. Then there's that. Mouse functions. DPI, like I could change how fast my mouse moves and all that. There's F functions, which don't really work in my opinion. So, the shortcuts, because the reason why I say this doesn't work is because I can't bind it to F1, which is needed for Guild Wars. I have no idea what this is, to the truth, at all. Um, I guess push to talk, I guess, maybe. Um, then there's hotkeys, don't really care about that. I love how there's like an actual Windows 8 things. I might actually set that for charms on the default. Um, and yeah, you could do, you could do things like that. Um, there's all sorts of things you could do with this. You can delete commands, apparently. I'm just actually just now noticing that. How you add a game up here, you click on, not that, click on that. 
um, yeah, you name it, and then you click that right there. You have to route to the um, executable that you want to go to. So say, let's go to my Steam games. They're on that drive. They're in my Steam games folder. If you would stop trying to rename it. Uh, common? Yeah. Um, say I wanted for... I used, I played Dungeon Defender sometimes. And I'm a complete idiot forgetting, hey, their executables are not in their that part so I need to go all the way back go to my local disk actually go to tickets 86 then it is steam I think it's going to be steam apps common no doubt it's in there so it's months where the fuck is all this so there's an executable maybe it is in there maybe I'm just an, maybe I'm just a complete babbling idiot that really wouldn't surprise me. I probably am a complete babbling idiot. Uh, common. Borderlands. Did I say Borderlands? Now let's do Dungeon Defenders because that's just going kind to of me. So, where's the executable for this? Like, what the crap? Right there. Executable. Right there. Click that. Hit open. It is linked. I doubt that's the actual executable, but I will figure this out later. Um. And I can make it like all sorts of things and all that, and I'm not really going to do. It. I'm good. I'm going to let it always copy from the default profile I'll manually. Do that. Just cancel that because I don't really want to bind that. Um, mainly because I don't ever use my keyboard on that game anyway. I don't need it. I have like Skyrim bound. Skyrim that's a default. Like it, it detects your gains by default. It detected Terraria. It detected most of these. Detected Magicka. Detected Half Life. I put in Guild Wars. It detected Gary's mod. I put in Guild Wars, um, and I put in Minecraft, and I put in my other Minecraft. Isn't actually up here, huh? No wonder it don't work. I'll, I'll show you about like. See right here, I have the control bound in my Minecraft. Let me show you how that works. As we all know, control is sprint in Minecraft. Okay, so let's just go to single player. Go to a new world. I have my sound turned off right now for those who don't know. So, just gonna run forward. Let it actually catch up. Run forward. And now I'm sprinting. Run forward. Now I'm sprinting. Run forward. Now I'm sprinting. Simple as that. Just do that. Why not? Why can't all mouse be like this? It's amazing. Little extra button on the side. Makes things easy. Um, so let's get to the next, um... This is the DPI. I could say change it. I could make it go higher. Remember 1800 for me, please. Do that. And now my mouse just goes everywhere. Like, I'm barely moving my mouse. And holy crap, I don't like that. I can move way down here. Say that right there. That just went back up to 1800. Say right down there. This is like, that's annoying. This is like I'm having to, like, pick up my mouse just to get it over to my other screen. Oh, God, I don't like that. Let me go back up to 1800, please. It's at 1800. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Um, don't know why. I guess maybe the blue dot's the maximum. Maybe. I don't know. I figured it out. Some other point. Um, the restore to default. I could do all this other stupid little stuff right here. Then I got this. This allows me to like change the colors. I could have the light pulsing. I don't like it pulsing. I like to cycle through lights. I can have it do both, I do believe. No, I can't. Okay. That's fine. Don't care. Um, I could do all this. I can make it different per profile. That means whenever I sign off of this profile on my computer, if I create another one and I signed on to that one, they could have a completely different setting. Like They could have it to where their lights don't cycle through. They could have it all set to one color while I have mine set to cycle through and it, it, it won't affect anyone else's it's straight up it's that that's all it is um you can also like just do all of this right here i think this is actually choosing the starting color i'm gonna leave that at red because i kind of like it on red there you go eh. don't that's like tilted i don't like it still don't like it whatever so that's pretty much the software um here's some options like you have this right here i probably need to actually update it um 
because I haven't done that in a while. There's all of this right here. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what this is whatsoever. Launch console. Huh. Okay, thank you, Noah! Um, and then, yeah, you also have, like, graphic enhancing. I don't I have no idea how it does that, but okay. Uh, what are you saying? No, you're a cunt. It said, uh, I'll work on it later. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much the software. Hopefully this recorded good. Till then, this Mel Dubs of 7 saying, hope you enjoyed this. Um, also, guess I probably should mention this. If you want to buy this, I recommend not buying it from their site. It's a little bit pricey. It's like $60. I got mine, I got mine for about $60, but that's because I also got two-day shipping from Amazon. Um, so I had to pay a little bit extra from that. Um, but I got mine completely unopened, straight, brand new off of Amazon for like, it was going to be about $40 or something like that. I don't remember. Um, actually, I think their, their miles might be about $80. I don't even remember. But um, a little pricey. You could get it with Amazon for about the same price with two day shipping and not instead of having to wait a week. Just so you don't know. But until then, that's what I'm saying. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you like the product. If you do, I regularly recommend it because I, I love the Logitech series and all that. I like I love their brands. I like it a lot better than Razer. Um Razors, yeah, they're pretty nice. They out of everything they make the better keyboards and mice, but their their mice are pretty well um brought up by this one right here. It's a pretty good match for them. So, yeah, the only difference is um, it's not wireless. And Razer, you could buy a wireless mouse, but they're the only people who make a wireless gaming mouse for the one reason of you don't use a wireless gaming mouse. Like, that's it's a no. It's a no-no. If you use a wireless gaming mouse, you're not gaming. You're just playing around like an idiot. Um, but then, of course, that's just gaming itself. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm so used to wireless mouse. I actually love my, loved my wireless mouse. I actually just sold it. Just, I think it was Monday. Yeah, it was Monday I sold it to um, a friend of mine. Um, so now I'm, I'm just stuck with this wired one right here. It's got a really nice wire, really tough. It's it's kind of like a fiber wire instead of like that weird cheap rubber wire. I hate those so much. Um, but yeah, I recommend it if you're looking into them. Um, recommend finding them like on eBay or Amazon though. They'll be cheaper, um, tell the truth. Um, if you can find them unopened, like completely brand new, that's even better because you don't buy a used gaming mouse. It's just not a thing you do because, you know, it could be broken and you not know you could have lights that are out and all that. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this. Buy the product if you want to. I can't tell you to, but, you know, just if you want. I'll see you next time. Bye.